Hey, so the new compound system came out today. So just for people who don't know yet, just give a quick explanation of how it works. Um, you're gonna wanna do MSP, you're gonna get the boxes from here. Boxes now open with the regular keys, just the normal keys. You don't need any special keys. Um, stage one to four, general player base can do it. Stage five and six, you are wanna be in a pretty well party. 2200 plus AP is what I've been rolling with here. And we've been doing, you know, the final boss kill in like two and a half, three minutes, a bit under three minutes. Um, so that's not bad. Um, but yeah, so the compound system, you hit that, you're going to put in accessories. You can see like these Skyreach gloves, they give, uh, you know, 220 power potential. Um, Prophecy necklace is also 220 from that tier. Uh, King gloves, 190. Um, and you can see the stats that I'm getting here um, from the etchings. The etchings are random. Uh, you're going to need to get these Hollywood etching stones, which you get from the flowers. So you got these Lunar Twilight flowers, right? Go to the NPC here, trade in the purple ones, and it's one purple to one um, stone thing, right? So you can see here, um, I'm, some, I'm trying to get every single one with Mystic on it. Like this one here doesn't have a Mystic, that one has boss attack power and Mystic, that's not bad. Um, this one here has Mystic and PvP attack power. Again, PvP attack power HP and PvP attack power HP. Mystic boss defense and Mystic boss defense and PvP, whatever that. So I'm going to re-roll. This is how you re-roll one. You just click one and go apply etching. And what I came up with now is HP and evasion. I don't want that. This one at least has PvP attack power, so I'll go keep, not change. I'll go apply etching again. Another one comes up. HP and debuff damage, but it's blue. I think blue is like a higher quality. Um, so maybe 215 debuff damage, 219 is better than 137, so I'll go keep, right? And each time it's using up one of these regular stones. I have gotten two better quality stones just from the MSV box drops. If you look at any of your gear, now you'll see there's the um, power potential, like that one is 220. Um, this one 260, 260. Eventually, I'll probably throw um, a bunch of SP, you know, Anger Zero gear. But as it is right now, I only have like you know, what's it called? 664 cores, so I could do not even three yet. I think there's still 250 per. Are they 200 now? I can't remember. So two to three, somewhere around there. All right, boss is up here. So you can see stage one Lungui now has a billion HP. This is stage one. Well, there's some really geared people in this party, like this FM here. You can see it's 2800 AP plus 12. Jeez. All right. It was a pretty geared group. So I get the box from there, and if you look at stage one, um, it's going to give me two Lunar Twilight Flowers. It has a chance for an Evolve Stone, and you know a chance for Hexagonal Garnet, which I've only picked up two of them so far. I don't know how many stage sixes I've done. I can't remember this is maybe four. This maybe run five, something like that. But yeah, um, you open it with a regular key, and you get these shitty little flowers. You can turn into good flowers. If you go over to the NPC here. Uh, Show you guys the regular one in the village. Oh, golden quarter side. That should fill the bar. Hopefully, we'll see. That's what we're gonna save for later. But again, compound system here. Uh, check your runes. So this is PP attack power and debuff. Oh, let's see what I want to replace. PP attack power and HP. So I go apply etching. It's gonna consume five moonstone crystals. Blah blah blah. These are low level ones, so it's just consuming the bounty count. Apply etching, I got crit defense and recovery. I'm not gonna keep that. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna keep my current stats, so I pick keep. I go apply etching again, boss attack power and critical damage. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna go change. And now I have boss attack power, critical damage. Uh, which one was that one? This one right here. Yeah, boss attack power, critical damage. So you can see my total stats I got right now added is Mystic 691. Uh, boss AP 10, 
GP attack power 30, almost 29, crit damage 147. Yeah, so that's a basic idea. Um, you can see all your gear now has, you know, power potential stats on it. Um, you know, like this one here, 190. Yeah, so that's how it works. Pretty simple. Let's go do another one here. This you can see stage 2, 1.8. I don't know why, it's just maybe just the people in my group, but it feels like MSP is laggier than it was before. Like 10, 12 FPS, low settings. Ugh. Right, right. So again, from there, here's a boss, box 2. Uh, Lunar Twilights, blah blah blah. There you go, got another gem. Not bad. Oh no. Uh, interesting little system. I mean, I am slowly, I mean, especially just for five, six runs, I've got an extra 691 Mystic today. Crit damage, I mean, let's just see. i got uh, eight of these here. Let's just try doing the rest here. See what ones I have that don't have good stats. Uh, PvP attack power 6 HP. Mystic on that one. PvP attack power Mystic. Debuff. Okay, this one will change. So, apply etching. Comes out with recovery innovation. I'm gonna keep the PVT PVP attack power. So we'll keep apply etching again. PVT P attack power and mystic, pretty good. Go change. Now that's the new stat I have on that one. It is uh which one was that? I can't even remember. But yeah, you saw that. You know what I'm gonna turn up. So pretty simple to use once you get the hang of it that way. Um, and yeah, you'll get some stats boosted. You know, I haven't gotten anything really awesome here. Um, I mean, one purple, a couple blues, one green in there. Aggression, I guess, is the lowest quality one. I'm thinking. But yeah, just a quick, simple guide for those who are a bit confused by it. 